Let's take a look at the new AZCS VM Porter, developed two years ago and then redeveloped in July 2013. We have a truly innovative product. We offer a free edition and we offer the premium plugin that gives our users unique functionality in a way that no other importer offers. The question you have to ask yourself is do you want to back the developers who truly try to push and raise the bar or do you want to buy another plugin that is bundled with the same settings in the same way and simply does the same thing that plugins that CSV import plugins have been doing for years. Plugins that we created ourselves three years ago. So if you want to make the most of your data, you have to be sure that you're not only doing things too quick as other importers encourage, but you have to prepare for the future and make sure that if your blog is growing and your data is growing that you're not going to outgrow that plugin. Because at some point you may need to remanage the post that you've created and the tool you've done, you've used for the job already is not up to the job of continuing from that point on. We consider and think about the whole lot and we do it to save you time, hassle and money later. Okay? So here we have Easy CSV Importer. I'm going to use it while discussing the plugin. First thing I'm going to do is upload a CSV file and show you just how easy the plugin is to use in the most basic form. There we go. And you'll find the plugin checks everything, confirms it and notices, nice bright notices to catch your attention. We've created a project and the first innovative approach I want to show you is listing projects in the, the admin menu itself. It makes it very easy to flick through all of your projects. See? I've not found any other plugin that does that. That's us creating our own unique product. Scrolling down here to click Import Data, notice how I skipped these menus. You don't have to use them, they have not required on them to clearly indicate that we are, we are stating they aren't required. Click Import Data, I've imported 9 rows, Basic Settings, here we go. Now these tokens represent the columns in my CSV file. Your CSV file can have any headers you want. Easy CSV Importer will accept any CSV file providing it is a properly formatted CSV file. Now if you're Curious, I'm holding control and pressing C to copy, holding control and pressing V to paste. Here's one I made earlier, and if you haven't guessed already, I'm Scottish, so we're using the pound. Now, that is a title template and content template. I'm going to scroll down here, I'm going to skip the SEO, which is telling me all in one SEO pack is installed. And that is telling me that because the plugin is ready to make life easier and automatically configure a few things for us. Here's the standard WordPress post settings as you would expect in any importer. I'm going to move on to create posts, skipping the rest. Obviously, I'm showing you how fast we can create posts. There we go, I clicked number one. Now, that's actually a link and what we could do is come up to the address bar you can find the number here I know this looks a little technical but if you want to enter other numbers like 3 and so on you can do so I'm just going to jump over to the posts here we have no posts I created one post it is a draft we can change that you can change the draft you can add categories you can add tags you can add the SEO title and the SEO description simple I'm going to click edit if you wish you can change the dates you can make random dates incremental dates. I'm going to scroll down, I'm just going to show you that all tokens have been replaced with my data. We call them column replacement tokens and we have some custom fields, even though I never set custom fields up, we need these custom fields to manage things in future. Starting with project code and the a little value that indicates if the post is outdated or not, if it becomes outdated, 
it tells us, it tells the plugin, as it says, VM Power, that it needs to be updated and so on. I could talk all day about what Easy Sales Frame Porter does, but right now I'm showing you the innovation. Now, if I go over to Advanced Settings, you will find Content Rules to change what content template is used based on values and your data. Here we have some content templates here. I'm just going to go up. I'm going to go to ECI Content, and here is the content templates, much like posts. It is a custom post type. We can go in there and we can change them. We can we can share a template between multiple projects. So if at some point in the future you have a new CSV file, you can upload that new CSV file. It could be from a different affiliate, affiliate provider, or a different client, whatever. Upload it and instead of creating a new template, you can use the existing one to get it right. Um, these templates that I'm showing you are very basic, but you can make them quite quite detailed, you could put some Google Maps scripts in there, you can add tables and so on. So if your template gets busy, you don't really want to go ahead and start making another one because obviously visitors will notice the, the subtle changes and differences between the, the layouts of, of content. Just going to go back to CSV Importer, here we go. Go back to WTG Test B, see how simple this is, advanced settings. I love it. It's fun to develop with and that means while we do any troubleshooting should there be faults or we improve the plugin, we enjoy working on it and things get done quicker. Uh, that is a difference compared to the, the old the old edition which got a little clunky um, and outgrew its original design. So here we have categories, we have multiple levels apply category descriptions, we can use descriptions in our data, or we can create templates to create unique descriptions. I'm just going to scroll down, we have custom fields. We can disallow the updating of specific custom fields. We can uh, select the column to populate custom field data, or we can use templates, again creating quite advanced values in the custom fields that you can do anything you want with. URL cloaking, we can hide the, the messy affiliate URLs and make them look like local URLs that show your domain. Okay, we have advanced SEO. I think a lot more will appear in there soon, but right now we can select templates again for populating the SEO values. We have post adoption. If you have existing posts, maybe from another importer, we'll take care of it. We'll help you take care of it. Get them into Easy CSV importers sort of um, job and Easy CSV Importer will take care of, of those posts. Uh, it, can, it, it is a tricky little feature, it's probably one of the most advanced features but as I said, we'll help you. Tag rules, this is to help perfect your tags. Post type rules, this is the ability to change the actual post type depending on values in your data. We can enter the trigger here, there's other things we can do with that but we're trying to keep it simple right now. Publish dates, can use the default method that WordPress uses, we can go with your own data, we can increment the dates, and we can go with random dates. Now whatever we whatever we go with, whatever we select, um, we can just simply come down to the bottom when we're when we're when we're done and click submit. Alright, and it's that simple. If we come over here we have prepare blog. This is where we create categories and undo categories. I'm not going to do that right now uh, for the sake of the length of the video. This is where we can go if we want to update our posts. We can do that manually, but we can also do it uh, automatically. we we'll just go over to the CSV importer and come over to schedule. These little notices here are indicating that right now the, the plugin will not do anything automated. It's just to let you know that if you're testing and you want to see something happening automatically right now, it won't because we need to sort of configure the days, the hours, and tell the plugin that we are happy for things to happen in those days and hours. And here we have some limits to control how, how, how much the plugin does at any given time and avoid that sort of server outage. And here we have event types, we've got different event types that we can disable and enable. 
that's like a, go a global control over all, all projects sort of thing. And here's just some information that helps us monitor what's going on in our, our schedule and the automation. And that is it. I think, I think, I think that's enough right now. I hope that helps you decide what plugin to put your money into and what plugin to go ahead with in terms of the, the long term and the, the real development and being if you're if you're launching a website you're not just a blogger you're not just someone fiddling around with WordPress you are developing a website the sooner beginners get that into their head the sooner they can start recognizing the, the subtle differences between between the, the norm and the innovation that could help them take things a step out a bit further and we don't ask for a whole lot of money to make that happen thank you very much for watching